Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Erica Bariga and I am a watercolor illustrator. Um, I like to bring joy through my art prints and products. I do a lot of whimsical illustration. And lately I've been experimenting because I love um, watercolor. That's what I use the most. And um, lately I've been experimenting with ink, um, especially like this last Inktober. I really wanted to um, see what inks would work with watercolor. And I learned a lot. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, let's get started. So my number one favorite hands down is this Dr. P.H. Martin's Black Star Waterproof India Ink Matte. It is awesome. So, so good. It's um, really opaque and it is waterproof. And I'll show that too later on. I'll show um, swatches with them. So, Now, this cleaner is wonderful. Um, this is a um, nib, and it doesn't come apart. This uh, metal nib and holder, they don't come apart. And I got this from a kit from Anthropology, And I'll link um, everything below so you can see what I'm talking about. But this pen cleaner is wonderful. And I just put, um, I just put a little bit on. Actually, I dip my whole pen in there. And then I just wipe it off. So I just open it up. And then I uh, actually put my nib in there. And then I get a paper towel. Oops. I'll just get a paper towel. And I'll rub it off. Try to get it all off. And only go in one direction because you don't want fibers from the paper towel getting caught on your nib. So that's my number one go-to. Okay. Number two is Black Star High Carb. It's opaque as well, but um, I like the matte way more. This is has this is a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, so I definitely go for the matte more. So you cannot go wrong with Dr. P.H. Martin, love. And then we also have this Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay Sepia ink, which is cool because then you get a little bit of a less harsh um, color if you don't want, you if you want something a little bit softer. So I'm gonna clean this one off. one direction 
Okay. And this one I'm going to mix up. It's kind of separates. So I'm going to mix it up. Yeah, a little softer look. It's kind of like a medium brown. It's very nice. Okay. Just washing this off. Okay, this ink came with the anthropology kit. Love this ink. I'll be very sad when it runs out. I don't know any other information from this except that it came in the anthro kit. So you could probably get this from the supplier of the maker of this kit that I'll have uh, linked below. And it's a um, calligraphy kit, so it's pretty cool. It's just, I love this, and when this runs out, I'll be so sad too, because that's the only way I know how to get this, is from that kit. Absolutely my favorite. And the last one I have is a walnut ink. And um, this one is a cheat. It doesn't really go with watercolor, but if you like the smudginess of it, I mean, it's beautiful. This is my favorite. This is the reason why I got the sepia ink is because I wanted something that was close to this. Um, only this smudges and the sepia does not. So I'm gonna shake that. I'm making sure it's closed. Okay. Oh, I didn't do my line. Oops. Oh, this paper doesn't really want to take this walnut ink. It's a little tricky, but it has a really nice effect. Oops, wrong top. Okay, let's hurry up and get that. Get ink back. I'm losing light. This daylight savings is killing me. Cannot wait until we have more sunlight. Okay, do this one again. Let me 
to close this up. Use this one more time. one direction okay so we're done with that now I'm going to dry this because I think the high carb one of these takes a long time to dry. I'm losing sunlight. I'm trying to beat the sun. Okay. I just want to make sure this is dry before I put some watercolor on top. Should be good with that. And I'm just gonna get any old. Oh, I have no water. Okay. And I'm just gonna take some blue. Any color doesn't matter. Let's test this out. Make sure I'm not fibbing. Okay, so see, there's my black star. Matte in the ink. Love it. And there's the high carb. Love. Sepia. Black for my anthropology. Oh, it is. Maybe it didn't dry enough, but it is smearing. Actually, you know what? I think that's right. That is right, that one does smear. I forgot about that, my bad, sorry. And then here's the Andy ink. I mean the Walnut ink, Smear City. So yeah, it just depends on the look you're going for though, because you might really like that. But the India ink is where it's at, does not smear on you at all. Check that out. All the India inks, no smearing whatsoever. So I hope that helps you out, gets you a little closer to just creating and not having to worry about um, what works with what. I'd love it if you um, followed me on Instagram under Flux Imagery and uh, join my newsletter at um, fluximagery.com. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye.